Hey, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, good day again everyone. Today we will be uh, discussing about algebraic expressions and equations. And if you would notice in our um, course that um, under, uh, under, under a specific topic, we would have this discussion. And that specific topic is just simply um, linear equations and inequalities in one variable. Okay, so before we go into this um, discussion, let me just discuss to you a little bit about that. So I'm just going to get my work marker, okay? So yeah, when we talk about linear equations, equations, and inequalities in one variable, in one variable, okay? What we are talking firstly about this one is the term linear, okay? When we talk about the term linear, let me change the marker yeah, here. When we talk about the term linear, we are simply discussing about variables with what's this? With the exponents, with the highest exponent, exponent as one. So it should be the highest exponent yan, yan is one. So therefore, we are discussing about variables. So therefore, you will see simply variables like say x with the exponent of 1. Or simply, you will see variables with no exponent. Because by default, if there is no written exponent, it is just simply 1. Okay? So or you will be seeing say y, x, but they are separate. Ah. They are separate. So x, j, a, b, C and etc. Okay? So, meaning, the highest exponent that you will see is none. Walang nakasulat. And by default, that is simply 1. So, that is a linear equation. Okay? Next, in linear equations, we are dealing mostly with x and y's. So, I just wrote this z, a, b, c just for, just for so. But just remember that the highest exponent is 1. And we are dealing with x and y. We are dealing with x and y because um, linear equations are equations that uh, that when graphed gives you a line again linear equations are um, equations that when you graph gives you a line so and and of course in a given line we would be using the Cartesian plane Cartesian plane so Cartesian plane so Cartesian plane if you're familiar is yung may x and y axis x and y axis and you will plot them here so this is your linear equation okay Anyways, that's it. Equation. Now, um, when we talk now about equations, and let's change the color of the marker. When we talk about equations and inequalities, on this case, we are talking about um, comparisons between um, two sides of the equation. For example, you have x plus y is equals to 6, and we have x plus y is greater than 6. So when we talk about equality, we are. This is this one. This is equa a equation. This is an equation, and this is an inequality. Inequality, because of course, in inequality, we are dealing mostly with um, symbols that denote that they are not equal, and those symbols specifically are greater than, less than, um, greater than or equal, less than or equal. Okay. So, this is our inequality. But for equality, we just simply have equal. So, if you would see, if you would see an equation, okay, or inequality, or say something in mathematics, an algebraic thing, okay, that will have this. For example, I have um, x is equals to 6, or x plus 2 is uh, over 3 is less than or equal to 7, then definitely, by all means, um, this is an equation because it has an equal sign and this is an inequality because it has the inequality symbol which is of course etong apat na yan, this four okay so that is what we are dealing when it comes to equations and inequalities you will have comparison between two sides of the equation the left hand side and then the right hand side same goes dito left hand side partition right hand side so the partition would be the comparison symbol okay so this is what we will be dealing with and lastly we have this term as wait, let me just get the other marker in one variable 
So meaning, we, we will have linear equations and linear inequalities in one variable being, being this one. x minus 7 is equal to 6. x um, plus y is equal to 7. So first one, which one of this is a linear equation? Because they are both equal, so they are both equation, yes. Equation, yes. Equation, yes. So which one of them is an um, a linear inequality equality in one variable? So the the answer would be the first one. This is in one variable. And this is in two variables because of course, obviously, x and y, one, two. Two variables. One, one variable. Okay? It's that simple. Just simply count the number of letters. And if you may ask, sir, what if we have this one? 2x plus 3x. Um, over 5 is um, equal to 7. Is this sir in one variable? Of course it's in one variable. Why? Because there is only x, both x. Okay? What you will count is the number of um, different variables. So in this case, there are two different variables, x and y. In this case, same variable, x and x. They are not different, so therefore we count them as one. But this is one variable equation. And I cannot stress any easier. H how easy is this one? Identifying whether you are in one variable or not. Okay, so this is in one variable. And again, we will be discussing in this topic algebraic expression and equations, linear equations and e inequalities in one variable. So we'll have an example, another. Okay. Yeah, we have this one. Linear inequality in one variable. One variable inequality. Okay, that's that simple. Okay, so, yan. Um, knowing our main top, uh, main examples that we will be using, now let's go to understanding algebraic expressions and equations. Okay, so I will just give you a slight um, hint or discussion here. Kasi we will cut our video in, in a short while. And yeah, we will just be discussing on um, just basic examples of algebraic expressions and equations. Firstly, okay, um, let me get them. Okay. Expressions versus equations. So what's the difference between expressions and equations? So the difference between them would be expressions have no comparison. Nope, wrong spelling. Have no comparison. I, I'm not sure of, on my spelling of comparison, but anyways. And equations have equal or inequalities. Okay? Um, we will also include inequalities in the equations here. Okay? Because expression simply has no comparison and an equation have comparison. So what do I mean by that? X plus 2. I wait, let me use another color. Mm -hmm. Say we have x plus 2. And x plus 2 is equal to 10. So the difference between them would be this one has no equal and this one has an equal. Okay, that's it. Simple as that. Say we have 2y minus 5. Then we have um, 2y minus 5 is equal to 7. Equation, expression. Why? No equal has an equal. That's that simple. Negative 5z. Negative 5z is equal to 25. Expression, equation, because there is no equal sign on the first one. And let's me, let me just give you an, a last one. expression equation why because there is no equal sign and of course you might ask sir can we consider this one which one saan kaya siya magbebelong which one will it belong expression or equations or inequalities of course it will belong here and not here why because again for any expression you will have no comparison and comparison symbols natin would be either they are equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. Okay? 
So that would be some examples of our expressions versus equations. Because um, we need to differentiate expressions and equations because what we will be dealing with would be mostly equations because in this uh in this our previous in our next videos i mean we will be solving for this specific variables okay so what should be the value of z and my value is z so that i can satisfy them because when it comes to um comparisons in inequality and equality you must satisfy the condition and let me just give you one trial for that x is greater than 2 what should be the value of your x so that you will satisfy that it is greater than 2 so say x is equals to 2 then let's say we have our equation as x is greater than 2 we will substitute this one is 2 greater than 2 therefore not so therefore this is wrong let's try again x is equals to 3 and our um, inequality is x is greater than 2 substitute this one on our given 3 is greater than 2 so let me ask you is this true or not yes it's true therefore this is correct this is correct okay and last one x is equals to 100 and our equation is still this one x is greater than 2 all the value of x here will be replaced by 100 100 is greater than 2 true or false true therefore this is correct that's it satisfy the condition of comparison okay so that would be all if you would have any other questions you can ask me on our class or view the video again thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh